How exactly do you mend a broken heart? We'll take you through how heart muscle becomes damaged as a result of a heart attack and how we hope to find a way to mend broken hearts. A heart attack is caused when fatty plaque builds up in the lining of the coronary arteries that nourish the heart. If the plaque breaks, it will cause a blood clot, blocking the blood vessel and starving that part of the heart of nutrients and oxygen. This can cause an area of the heart muscle to be damaged or die, meaning that the remaining heart muscle has to compensate for the damaged tissue and work harder to supply the body with blood and oxygen. This can make the heart enlarge and the remaining healthy muscle becomes stretched so that it pumps less powerfully. This is called heart failure. It means the heart fails to respond adequately to the demands of the body, making day-to-day -day activities difficult. Unlike a broken bone, the heart can't repair itself yet. But there is hope. We think we can help mend that damage through regenerative medicine and benefit people living with heart failure. Unlike us, some animals can repair their hearts. Take, for example, the zebrafish. Zebrafish have the natural ability to repair their own injured hearts. Scientists are studying the amazing DIY toolkits of these animals as they search for a way to prompt our own hearts to regenerate. But of course, fish are different from us in lots of ways, so why do we think it might be possible to copy them and grow heart muscle? Because we've all done it before. We all grew a human heart when we were developing as embryos. So how did we do it in the first place? We all have stem cells. These are the blank canvas cells from which we all developed in the womb. These can turn into any type of cell, blood cells, skin cells, brain cells, and of course, heart cells. Scientists think that by learning how stem cells become heart cells, they might be able to instruct other cells to do the same and replace the tissue damaged by a heart attack. So where will these stem cells come from? Well, stem cells are found in a number of places. There are some stem cells inside us all, ready and waiting to help us out. We've known about stem cells in the bone marrow for a long time, and some scientists are studying them to see if they could be called up to work in the heart. Other scientists think that there are stem cells already in the heart itself, and that these are most likely to be the ones that can help. Stem cells can also be made in the lab. Recently, scientists have discovered that they can turn skin cells into stem cells. Maybe these hold the key for heart repair. And then there are nature's experts. Stem cells from the embryo. These are studied by some scientists too. Stem cells for this kind of research are donated by couples that have had IVF treatment. They have chosen to donate embryos that would otherwise not be used, so that stem cells can be provided for research. The donations are stored in the UK Stem Cell Bank. Here they keep dividing into more stem cells for more research. Only embryos at a very early stage of development, up to 14 days, can be used. By studying animals and human cells, we need to learn exactly how stem cells develop into a working heart. How do they move to the right place, develop all the features of a heart cell, and communicate with each other to arrange themselves into a complex working organ? By applying these lessons to cells in the lab or those found in our bodies, we believe that one day soon we'll begin to mend broken hearts. With your support, we can help mend broken hearts and give hope to millions.